Do you enjoy killing people by accident? Bruh. Have you ever dreamed about getting launched into orbit at 30% damage? How about force feeding your opponents until they leave the game? If you answered yes, then Mr. Game & Watch might just be your new main. But if that doesn't sound like something for you, you could always just pick Fire Emblem and spam Nair like an absolute degenerate. But before we take a deep dive into the Vlad Zone, I have an announcement. My U2's vinyl is on sale today. You can grab one right now. All you gotta do is head on over to U2's.com and cop yourself one before they, like me, completely sell out. And that usually takes less than a day. They are $30 a piece, but they do have free worldwide shipping. So the price will be the same for everyone, even if you're Swedish. The figures themselves are made from the most high quality, legendary vinyl, and they are completely shadow resistant. So they are very likely to age better than I am. Basically, buy it. Put yeah, just move them a little bit closer. I moved to quite a bit. So, Mr. Game and Watch. Let's start with his weaknesses, or rather, his weakness, because he only has one, and that is being light. Very light. So light that if Ganondorf sneezes in your general direction, you're dead. But then again, he's made out of paper. What did you expect? All of his moves, except for one, have some sort of use, but in this video I'm gonna go over the most important ones. Mr. Game Watch has the fastest up special in the entire game. But its strength doesn't lie in its knockback or damage. Instead, it lies in the emotional trauma that you inflict on your opponents every time they as much as breathe on your shield. This move also makes you practically impossible to edgeguard. Wow, dude. And if you enjoy the occasional online tournament, sudden death should no longer be a problem. Next up, we have the up smash, also known as the retard magnet. The thing about this move is that when you release it, you become completely invincible. Why? It doesn't matter. The only thing you need to know about this move is that you can charge it at any point during your game, and one of two things will happen. One, they wait it out and try to punish it afterwards, only to be kindly told to take a seat, because end lag isn't real. It's fiction. Two, they challenge it with an attack and get outright yeeted into space. Sorry, it either he went for the double parry or he just you know, had oh, to... Oh! No! You still did it! No, 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 no. You no, still no, did no. it! No. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, no, no! Before the game was released, his forward smash used to inflict racism. But then Sakurai said... <laughs> but even after the nerf, it's a pretty solid attack. And last, but not least, we have the only attack in Super Smash Ultimate that will make a snake main take his finger off the B button. Depending on what you collect in your bucket, the damage you deal could be anywhere from annoying to instant death. What this means is that whenever you fight any character that relies on projectiles, they now actually have to play the game. Essentially, Mr. Game Watch is a character that excels at being an asshole. If you main him, your friends will hate you. But in the end, it's worth it, because tossing potatoes on a Ganondorf until he dies is probably the most satisfying thing I've ever done in a video game. Anyways, thanks for watching. Normally I would make this video longer, but my sponsor said they would sue me if I didn't post this video today. So until next time, have a good one.